King News, my lovely, wonderful people. You will be surprised. You will be shocked. Nigeria, honestly, sincerely speaking, there is no justice. Yes, you are hearing me. Our Supreme Court has a price. And that is really sad. Yes, why do I say that? Even myself, by the way, I had nothing to do with law. I did not study anything to do with law. Even a layman like me who have no full grasp or knowledge of the law know that according to Nigeria constitution, the electoral constitution, somebody that did not obtain a form cannot be the candidate. This is daylight robbery if you ask me. You know what happened in Imo State? First of all, Lawa did not obtain sanitaria form. Supreme Court's judgment was daylight robbery. Merchant camp replies, tell Nigerians we are in trouble. Now, you are wondering, madam, what's going on? Ahmed Lawa is the Senate president. When the whole issue was coming up and they were to obtain, you know, interest nomination form, Ahmed Lawa, APC chairman Abdul Rahim, they've hashed out plans that he will be the presidential candidate for the All Progressive Congress. He will announce him as the consensus candidate. That agreement was reached and made. However, Emil Ocon stood up and says, no, guess what? And at the end of the day, every single one, you know, saw what happened. Ahmed Lawa had to, you know, drop. And today we know that um, things are quite different. My dear, as we speak right now, that's the same Ahmed Lawa that did not obtain a sanitarian form because he thought he was going to be the presidential candidate for the All Progressive Congress, picked this man, Machen, as his placeholder in case he does not come in. Machen can step down willingly. Then the former Senate senator representing that district will take over. But guess what? The man said, I'm not stepping down. Let's get all the details so you can fully grasp it. Lawa did not obtain sanitaria form. Supreme Court judgment was daylight robbery. Nigerians, we are in trouble. Bachan Macha, Mach, Bachi Machan recently lost his candidacy for the sanitaria seat for Yobe North to Nigerian Senate President Hamed Lawa following a ruling at the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Why? Controversial reactions have trailed the judgment. Bachan Machan Camp has recently described the judgment as daylight robbery, as he believes that Ahmed Lawa did not participate in any primary election to have emerged as the senatorial candidate of the region. In the report on Sahara News, the deputy campaign coordinator, Yobe North Zonal Social Media, said to Bachi Machan Camp team, Nuru Abdu, in a telephone chat with Punch News, that Machan was clearly robbed of his candidacy by the Supreme Court of Nigeria. He alleged that Ahmed Lawa did not obtain sanitaria form, neither did he fill the form and could not have contested, let alone won the primaries held by APC. He was not even there. In his words, the Supreme Court judgment was a daylight robbery and very unfortunate. Nigerians are in trouble. We don't have a judiciary or a justice system in this country. We are in a serious trouble. What exactly is going on here? Lawa neither obtained, filled the sanitaria aspirant form or contested in the primaries. As Muslims, we believe in destiny. We will wait for what our leaders would say before knowing what to do. This is quite unfortunate. Listen, Nigerians, if you say there is fire on the mountain, it's a little, it, it, the description is, I think it's, it's too little compared to what is going on on ground. Is beyond fire on the mountain. A young man did not, a young man who, whether Ahmed Lawa gave him the money or did not give him the money, listen guys, that is inconsequential. Now the plan of Ahmed Lawa was, you buy the form, 
the, the, I mean, the provision of the constitution makes provision for that. If someone buys the form, participates in the election, won, like Machan did, but the person decides or things get too hot and says, you know what, I don't think this anything is for me, automatically, the person that was previously there steps in and take over the show. In the case of our brother, Machan, Machan said, I want to be this, I want to be there. But guess what? APC, because I mean, Ahmed, uh, Ahmed Lawa, who has been the Senate president, has been there since 1999. Nigeria returning to democracy, Olusegun Obasanjo becoming the first president in that regard. Since 1999, Ahmed Lawa has been there. So Ahmed Lawa, whether by hook or by crook, we don't know, we are not there, gave Machan the money to obtain the form. Yes, Machan participated in the primaries, apparently uh, declared the winner. Ahmed Lawa was not there. Ahmed Lawa was concluding plans with APC chairman to declare him the consensus candidate. And then we had the Ogun outburst that says, Hey, Miloko, <laughs> you people are playing with fire. When I when I was helping Buhari, nobody's, you know, we know, know all, the, all that drama. And before you know it, people began to drop like flies and supported Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. And today is the flag bearer for APC. We all know that history. Memory lane down, the, down there. And so Ahmed Lawa, looking at the whole thing, wants to return back to Senate. So this is over 20 something years. He's still the one representing Yobe North in the Senate. 20-something years and counting 20-something years. Welcome to Nigeria. How can the younger ones come in? You mean in the whole of Yobe North, there is no distinguished young man or young woman that can represent Yobe? There is no other person under the face of the earth that could stand up and represent Yobe and say, you know what, let Yobe move forward. This is what goes on. This is what is going on. Hey, my people, wake up. It is the dawn of a new day. You don't understand it. The issues and everything that is going on on ground today are clear indication that this nation is in a deep, deep robbery. Look at what happened in a, a what's it called, a, 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 a Imo state now. Welcome to Nigeria. Imo state is before our very own eyes. See what has been going on with the people. Imo state is before my eyes, your eyes. This is what is going on in Nigeria. Look at what happened in Imo state. See what happened in Oshun. INEC has come out now in Oshun to say that there is that the, everything that was said, there was no overvoting. Yet the court has said, uh, you, do you understand it? And INEC cannot go back and say, where yeah, you got your job, this is all, uh, we don't understand it. Nigeria, God help us. This country is going through robbery, daylight robbery. Mention it, but a few, it is what is happening. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.